Hello loves, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aries. Okay, a lot just fell out. All good energy though, two of pentacles, yeah. This person could have been juggling a lot. They didn't under they didn't know if they wanted to focus on love, on money, on you, another person. They just didn't know. This person has made a decision though. The justice card here with the ace of wands and the temperance. They're like, can can we become one? Can two become one? You know, are you still open to this? This person was battling a lot though with the five of wands and the eight of swords being here. Someone was in their minds a lot. This could have been you. This could have been both of you. You and this person. Okay. But someone wants a very passionate new beginning they see you as like an earth angel or maybe this person is even like an earth angel themselves but again with the two of pentacles they were juggling a lot in life but this person is finding like this new found passion this chemistry um they're they're just childlike justice card right here this is karmic justice coming in <laughs> wow this is too cute. It's so funny. But I can't believe I'm seeing this guy. He's in this. Like, this guy has a full beard and everything. He's in the shower with a shower cap on. And he's just in the bathroom. Like, he's dancing. He's singing. He's talking. And I see, like, the feminine is just looking like, what in the world is this? Like, this person, this person has held back this side of them for so long. I, they just didn't know that... They could be comfortable just being funny and goofy. I'm hearing crazy, sexy, cool. <laughs> Nine of Cups. This person sees you as wish fulfillment. And this person is your wish fulfillment too. Like, so much fun. I'm hearing fun and flattery. Like, you and this person, the fool. Yeah, like, like new. Taking a leap of faith, doing something you've never done. Like, your passion is ignited. This is a wild card, though, the unknown. It's like you don't know this side of this person. Or maybe this is you being like this with someone. This could be a, a feminine, too. Like, you're just comfortable with this person. You know, especially because we just had a new moon, I think a lot of people who are very intuitive will say that um, during this time, <laughs> like, our messages are so... So clear and, des and descriptive. You guys, I'm going to be honest with I'm I'm going to share with you some of the images. When I'm doing readings, I get so many images and most of them I don't share. But this is so cute and funny. I have to. I'm, I'm seeing right now a woman, a feminine energy, a woman. This is so funny. She's putting on shapewear and this man is like helping her with the shapewear and they're just laughing about it. This is like a level of comfort that you and this person don't know. This could be someone new, someone coming into your life or someone that's in your life that's finally just like, like you're letting your hair down. This is so hilarious. Like the guy is in the shower with the freaking shower cap on. This woman is like, trying to put some jeans or shapewear on it. He's like, I, I can help you. <laughs> if you with it, I'm with it. Let's get it. Like, just saying goofy stuff like, oh my goodness. You and this person are going to be running through the parking lot on baskets together. Just crazy. It's wild. To Page of Pentacles. This person wants to make you a stable offer to have a committed relationship. Two of Cups. After possibly they had to overcome some type of heartbreak or pain. Could have been a third party situation. You could have had to over, like someone here had to get over some type of pain and suffering from a previous heartbreak or relationship. You and this person could have broken up. I don't know. The two of pentacles though, when it comes to the juggling, the ten of wands is here. Someone knows that it's just too hard to juggle. Someone knows it's too hard to live a double life. It's too hard to juggle. It's too hard to live life without you or whatever. And they just don't want to do it. They just want peace, balance, and harmony. And they want that with you. Someone is manifesting. Look. Someone is, has had a wake-up call. They're like, I want to manifest. Yeah, and the hangman. That's an awakening. Someone wants to do this over. The king of wands here, the star. Wow. And the ace of cups. Yeah. Somebody is... This masculine, like I said, this... I mean, this is a real short, simple, sweet reading. I could leave it here. You may have told this masculine that you were reconsidering something... 
Maybe you even told this person, you made a judgment call to leave this person behind even. This caused this person to go through a major awakening. You may have told this person that, you know, hey, I'm an earth angel. I'm a divine feminine, masculine, whatever. I'm passionate about my life. Things have to be balanced with a justice card here. I don't know. This woke this person up, though. The hangman. So maybe you had a conversation with this person. You was like, you know, you're just too emotionally unavailable for me. And when you decided to pull your love back, this person recognized that you are the star. You're a true healer. They they love your love. Like they they need it. They crave it. They're yearning for it all the time. And they're like, if that means that if that means I gotta help you get in your jeans and you want us to brush our teeth together and do face masks together, then that's what I'll do. <laughs> This man here is manifesting like you calling judgment on this person has made them decide to take all of the tools and the resources that they have to become the best version of themselves so that they can be beside you. Or well, this is what's going to happen. Yeah, the high priestess, your um, your mysticism, your mystery, like who you are as a person, what you know, your wisdom. This person knows that you there's something very sacred or ancient about you. You're very strong. This person knows that you're very strong, but this is that strong feminine energy. Like you're still open to receiving, but you're the only person that can actually tame this person. It's like this person, they're saying you beat out all of the competition. Like with you, they don't see anything or anyone else. They only want to be your person, the emperor, the lovers, the son. What? Like, you're it. Just period. You're it for this person. Completely. Queen of Cups, the Death card, the Empress, the Tower, lots of Scorpio energy. Queen of Cups, this person, like I said, they're in love with you being intuitive, being eclectic, being a high priestess. They like to hear about your dreams. If you want to watch the moon, this person could hate going outside. They're like, I'll go. We can sleep outside if you want to. Like, what? They're, this person, like they, what I heard, if you with it, I'm with it. Let's get it. Like, they will do whatever you want them to do. This is a major transformation that this person is making so that they can be with you. It's like they've had some kind of realization and epiphany. Four of Wands that you're their person. But this came after the Five of Cups here. Them feeling defeated, heartbroken, in despair. You could have felt this way too if a feminine that's watching. But all is not lost here. Even right now, if you're separated from somebody, this person is coming back. I've been getting all reconciliation energy. Now, keep in mind, reconciliation can be with somebody that you are connected with energetically, spiritually, like maybe not in the, you don't know them in the physical sense. But for some of you, this is a person coming back from your past. This could have been something that was casual in the beginning. This person is like, no, you're the one. You're completely the one. This person watches you closely. Page of Swords. They probably spy on you. <laughs> this person is like enamored with you. I'm hearing they're enamored. Like they adore you. They're infatuated with you. The world. You are their entire world. And they want to move forward with you. The chariot. I do feel like you and this person separated. You both walked away from each other. But you know she has two swords in, his back, in her back. And he has three. This person realizes that... They are carrying more pain than you. <laughs> Even if the both of you agreed to walk away from this situation. Three of Pentacles, yeah. This person here wants to come back. They, two of Wands, they're making the decision to come back in. They're looking at the bigger picture and they see themselves working with you, collaborating with you. Four of Pentacles, they do not want to let you go because you are their everything. The Ten of Cups. This person can be surrounded by, oh my gosh, this is so cheesy. I'm literally hearing like this. Is, I'm hearing this person say, "You, I could be surrounded by all the stars, but you're still the only moon. I just want the moon. It doesn't matter how many stars are in the sky. I just want the moon. Wow. Here's the moon. Nine of pentacles, eight of pentacles. You've mastered yourself. This person sees you as very, very sexy. 
self-sufficient, ambitious, bold. I feel like the way you stood up for yourself in a time where you could have let like a situation get the best of you. Maybe when this person wasn't giving you equal give and take, you stood your ground. Seven of Wands, you stood up for yourself and you were willing to walk away from this. This made this person like, wow. This scared this person. Seven of Cups. They, they became very confused because you picked yourself up. And I feel like you picked yourself up quickly. You went from the Ten of Swords to the Ten of Pentacles. You're the Queen of Pentacles. You're resting and retreating. You're enjoying the fruits of your own labor. You're taking vacations. Like This person knows that they can only come to you if they want a commitment. And I feel like this person is rushing towards you for a commitment. Ace of Swords, they know the truth. This person could even live at a distance. This person said, I'm willing to relocate, travel. What What do you want? Because they are watching you and they see that the wheel of fortune is shifting and changing and they want to be a part of it. This is not the, this is not an energy of someone who wants to just come in and like mooch off of you. No, this is someone who's saying, I know for a sure fact that you are the one and I am supposed to be in your life and you're supposed to be in my life. They just, I don't know, they had their hand on something that was not good for them before. But this person, Six of Wands, they want victory and success. They definitely want to reconcile with you. They don't care what differences the two of you had. <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> this person wants to be all in your space. Compl I mean, like, completely. This person wants to be in your skin. Like, seriously. <laughs> they, they cannot get enough of you. Whatever your inner whatever energy you have, this person, they're like, I cannot live without it. <laughs> What's the outcome here, spirit? <laughs> Three of swords. There's definitely been some type of you and this person could be broken up. But I feel like if there was like a third party or like I said, some type of emotional pain. Look at this, y'all. I cannot make it up. Three of swords to the four of wands. From breakup to <laughs> breaking generational curses and chains together to happily ever after marriage, peace, prosperity, success, knight of swords. This person is rushing in. They're like, oh no, we will not be separated. There will not be a breakup here. Whatever they did or you did, Four of Wands, Ten of Cups. Somebody is of late thinking about you. Like, they want this bad. This is somebody that's like, I'm coming in to marry you. Just period. They see good fortune, success. They see you being there happily ever after, no doubt. Nine of Pentacles. This person, they see you as being very successful and abundant. The Nine of Wands is here. This person is so tired of trying to live without you or ignore the fact that <laughs> you're the ultimate wish fulfillment for them. I just did a reading and I think I posted it yesterday or the day before and I was talking about how a lot of celebrations, some of you, you are going into a time of your life where you're going to be very, very happy. Someone that you've, you've had to break up from and they could have hurt you. Okay. Or for some of you, you, it, May not have been anything really heavy, but it was just bad timing. Maybe this person is not going to take no for an answer. They have the courage now to come towards you, despite whatever setbacks, issues, the obstacles that they've had. They want your your paths to be one path. Like this person wants to plan your life together. The two of wands and the chariot. Yeah. Look at this. Three of pentacles. Underneath that is the emperor. What's underneath it? The king of swords. This person is very determined. It does. Like I said. If there's conflict. I'm sorry. If there's competition. They don't care. And I feel like this person is stressed out and concerned about competition. This person already knows that you're a great catch. The nine of pentacles, they know. All you're missing is the happily ever is a marriage, a commitment. That's all you're missing. And they know that if they don't come right in right now to 
recognize you as marriage material and offer you a commitment, they're going to be completely cut out. This person has been juggling you. They may have tried to make you feel like you should have competed for their attention. I don't feel like this situation was equal give and take before and it was a stalemate type of situation. This person just was not giving to you. And maybe they were torn between two. You know, it could have been distance. It, it could have, it, it doesn't always have to be another person. But it was something that was keeping you stuck. And there wasn't any equal give and take. I feel like that's the reason why now the main thing that this person is for sure going to want to give you is a lot of emotional support, a lot of time, affection. And that's why I'm seeing the images of them being in your very close space. This person wants to be around you. They they want to have those um, moments where you can be very open, transparent, and vulnerable. You know, like shower time and, you know, putting on your clothes or making you feel comfortable about anything that you may be insecure about. This person will share like their insecurities with you. You know, this is a really macho masculine type of guy. He's going to be more feminine because he wants to receive your love. So he knows that to receive it, he has to offer it. So this is you standing up for yourself and creating boundaries and having standards it has really taught someone how they have to treat you. And this is a, a, a person, a masculine for sure, who is very, very logical, very stern, makes head over heart decisions. All of that is, is like dropping. That mask is being dropped because them putting up this facade of being so stern and masculine, they realize that that has done nothing but pushed you away. Ace of Cups. This is a, a new emotional beginning. Knight of Cups, yeah, they're coming in. This person wants to follow their heart. They're done making just head over heart decisions. Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> this person was definitely juggling here. The Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Um, This person ha was juggling between two. But they want, like, they like the fact that you're romantic, that you're sweet, you're... You have this like mothering type of nature about you. The Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, this could be one person, but I do feel that there's been more than one person here in the situation. This was a third party situation at some point. There's two two of Pentacles, two of Swords, and the two of Wands, the Six of Pentacles. Two, 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 six, but yeah. Someone here being indecisive and juggling, this caused a lot of tension um a lot of power struggles in this connection it's being balanced out though this person wants equal give and take and they're willing to be very generous with you now this person because of the third party past and here we have yet another three three of cups because of the fact that there at some point was a third party and now the first card that came out was the three of swords so there's definitely some kind of third party that's being cut out. You may be in an energy right now of being um, very grounded, not really too open with your emotions. This does not feel like love bombing from this person, but I feel like this person, they're going to have to be <laughs> over generous with their emotions right now to kind of get you to crack back open. <laughs> Three of cups. <laughs> Ace of Wands, yeah. They're trying to ignite that passion again. <laughs> oh my goodness. This guy is hilarious. Oh. Yeah. They know you walked away. So <laughs> this person is trying to like balance the situation. This person's like, listen, I'll be patient. They want to know what your purpose is, what's all your dreams. Like they just want to be, I'm seeing this part, they want to be all in your space. Like they want to be in your skin. Like they're so close. They're trying to be so close to you that like they want to just, they can't, like they want to share, they want to jump in your body with you because I don't know what happened, but apparently seven of pentacles when this person started to look over things they became full of grief 
regret, guilt. Like this breakup is killing this person. <laughs> yeah and i feel like with the knight of pentacles they tried to have some type of method or strategy of coming towards you or trying to draw you back into them and they just thought like you you just was completely out you went on your own journey and started soul searching you may have ghosted the situation and now justice is here this person is realizing that their actions is the reason why you you handled the situation the way that you did but they're rushing in now to take action as the king of wands and the fool they're taking a leap of faith here this person is full of fire right now they don't even have to be a fire sign but they have a vision for their life this person if they were um juggling something before with like finances or their career they're like trying to get everything situated right now so that they can surprise you with some type of I don't know, like a, it could be for some of you, it could be a date. It could be, um, an offer of a commitment for some, it could be an engagement or proposal. They just want you to step into the unknown with them and like trust that they're really ready for a new beginning. This person is saying like, they're like, I'm a free spirit now. I'm here also, I'm a free agent now. So <laughs> This person could have been in some type of relationship before, honestly, or a marriage or a commitment or something. Eight of Wands, yeah. Something ha was holding on to them, but it's like they had to make... This person knew they had to make some type of sacrifice here to actually be with the moon. They, Like I said, it doesn't matter how many stars are in the sky. They just want the moon, and you're the moon, the empress. This will of fortune, they want this destiny, this new beginning, but they had to have some type of awakening here. And make some type of sacrifice. There's been a transformation. This person is looking at everything from a totally different perspective now. And whatever they're seeing, it's like they've been hit by the love bug. Like this person has love Jones all over them right now for Divine Feminine. Like they just, they, four pentacles here, they cannot let you go. <laughs> yeah, because you're the high priestess. Who's going to compete with the high priestess? There is no competition. The empress and the high priestess, they already know. And then look, you have two, three, and four. <laughs> look at this. Two, three, four, five of swords. Conflict? Where? No more of that. The death. This person's like, they know. You are perfect alignment to them. They refuse to lose you because of disagreements. They're like, no, I'll just, I'll just transform for you because, oh my gosh, look at this. Six of cups, two of cups. What's that? Ace of pentacles. Yeah. They're like, what, whatever you, they thought about in the past, whatever past life type of connection this is, twin flame, soulmate or whatever. They're like, this is their biggest gift from the divine. Two, three, look at this. Look at how the alignment is here. Two, three, four. Where is the five? Oh, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. They love your mystery. You're, you're very fertile and abundant. I think too, like for some of you, this person, you're working on something and they don't know what it is. They're very curious though. But whatever conflicts you had or disagreements about any type of interference that has happened here, this person, they're ready to work on it. Well, this is beautiful. <laughs> Boundaries, firm boundaries. Yeah, you have to set boundaries with this person. Wow, here and now. It says, your true love is already part of your life. Wait, the timing is not quite right. Yeah, you have to set boundaries because something about this situation, it wasn't in alignment with your morals and values. So 
there had to be healing here. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. But it's like whoever you're with, you've crossed paths with this person or been with this person before. Even if it wasn't anything long term or serious. Yeah. It says here, you've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. This person wants to come in and be supportive. But you had to learn a lesson in not dismissing the red flags when a person was showing that they were emotionally unavailable. When this person showed you that they were un emotionally unavailable, I feel like you walked away because you quickly were able to set boundaries and tell this person, this is not what I want for myself. We're on two totally different pages, but there's a past life love here. Your soul remembers this intense connection, but you have to cleanse and clear your energetic field to focus on yourself. So you and this person are both going through some type of spiritual transformation. But Spirit said, yes, it is safe for you to take the leap of faith. You had to detach with love to see the truth. Or this person was in denial about the fact that they were madly in love with you. They know now. So this person saying they can't eat, they can't sleep, they can't breathe without you. They can't go on without you in their life. That's what I just heard. <laughs> you and this person are magnetic souls, but they had control issues or you had control issues. They want to they wanna be playful now, but this person was trying to control this situation. This person was probably trying to make you conform and be in like a third party situation or they wanted you to come second to their job or family or something like that. And he was like, no, you have your magnetic souls. So you and this person, you're just drawn to each other. Like you're two peas in a pod, but you had to put your foot down with this person. And oh boy, past life. Look at this. Jeez. Past life, magnetic souls and new chapter. Yeah. You and this person are starting over strong, strong past life connection here. There's unfinished business with this person, no doubt. <laughs> New chapter. So I shuffled the cards and that card still came out. This is crazy. Law of Attraction. You're drawing this person in. Security. What is yours will always be yours. This, this connection is secured by the divine. Like this is your person, just period. <laughs> they were chosen for you. Attraction, yeah. Your energy is captivating to this person. They love your confidence. So this person here loves the fact that it's like you put your foot down. I don't think this this may be the type of person, like I said, a very masculine person where they, they're always told yes. They always get their way. And you was like, no. This person wants to be devoted to you because you're different. And they're coming in very soon. This is an enchanted love. Have faith. This person is going to give you deeper intimacy than what they did before because they're your soulmate and it's time for you to reconcile. They're re they're done with the control issues. They're ready for love. They're going to make a move. This person is going to be communicating to you. They probably came to you crying and on bended knee. <laughs> Life partner and divine union. You and this person are coming together after a breakup. They could not stop telepathically communicating with you. Their soul is constantly talking to you. This is your life partner here. But you have to break it off with this person and let them know that you were not the one to play games with. You didn't want anything short term or, you know, you didn't want friends with benefit. Whatever this person was trying to present to you because they wanted to control this situation. You have to let this person know that you will continue to have faith in having a devoted, committed connection with someone. Uh, like a commitment with someone who will be devoted to you. And this person is now, I feel, willing to come in and give you their deeper intimacy. They want you to feel safe. They feel safe now with you. <laughs> they just weren't ready for love before. But apparently, this separation has made this person practically lose their minds. But they had to lose their mind to find you. <laughs> so cute. I'm so happy that all this love is coming out. So sweet. Endings and new beginnings. A lot of the karmic energies, you guys, they're they're being cut out for good. The third parties are being cut out. Like people are waking up and they are choosing love. Love, love, love. 
this is super cute i cannot believe i saw this person in the shower with their darn shower cap on and trying to help this feminine shimmy into some spanks and some jeans like what <laughs> this is so funny he's like i got you put, put one foot in <laughs> i got you <laughs> oh my goodness i'm getting this is someone who does not they don't like to share their food or anything this person like you have this person just wrapped around your finger I'm even saying you have children with this person. This person is going to be so head over heels with like your, your child. If you have a child together. It says time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Yeah. Something here just needed time. And I feel like a feminine here especially had to step into an energy of being very empowered. And knowing that there was nothing wrong with you. Even if this person ghosted you, there was nothing wrong with you. And you stood your ground. You just had to give this time. You weren't willing to try and overcompensate or be a people pleaser. You were just like, okay, cool. This person isn't used to that. They were like, wait a minute. She just let me leave? <laughs> okay, we have sexual union. Okay. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. Yeah, this person here, like I said, they want to be in your skin. They feel connected to you in every way. Like, they cannot let you go. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So remember, it was the queen of pentacles or the queen of cups. You may be very focused on work, life, career. Not really eager to let this person back in emotionally. And I think right now you can go ahead. At some point, whenever this happens, you can surrender. It says at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives, let go, and it all will work out. So you and this person both could have had to surrender some people, some old habits or whatever to come together. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. You know what? Y'all, I swear it felt like somebody just walked up behind me. Okay, anyway. Y'all better tell y'all masculines, um, don't creep up on me. <laughs> I'm putting the message out. I done already told everybody that they want to be dancing in the shower with shower caps on and doing face masks. So, don't come tapping me on my shoulder in the middle of the night sorry y'all anyway um yeah don't don't worry about trying to criticize this person they already know they messed up <laughs> they know they messed up okay but loving and accepting each other your relationship will magically transform so that's that's the the openness and the transparency that's what i was saying in the very beginning please do not criticize this person when this person starts to act really lighthearted and goofy and playful if it's a super macho guy, he may from time to time, even he's not, I'm not getting feminine at all, but you're, you're not going to see him in arms being so stern and as masculine as perhaps you're used to him being really embrace this because this is a sure sign that he's just getting very comfortable with you. It's like being a very childlike type of energy. Um, this I'm getting where this person is just going to poke you and harass you. It's, it's like a little boy who likes a girl like you and this person are like playing in the sandbox together. They just like you and they don't know exactly how to show it. It's really cute though. So just embrace it, you guys. You have beautiful, beautiful love and connections coming. Um, if you are not interested in, in love, this could be a friend or, or just whatever. Just be open to this light-hearted beautiful energy that is coming towards many people in the collective yeah six of cups ten of cups <laughs> that's beautiful six of cups ten of cups so again it's a past life connection it's coming back and it's leading to the ten of cups and i think that you left your certain ways and habits behind healing your inner child growing into this goddess you know, maybe you didn't have boundaries or standards or the 
the right realistic type of expectations before but as you healed yourself it really healed this connection yeah a lot of shadow work and healing standing your ground nine of wands but this person is also standing their ground and being very persistent about pursuing you after there was some type of low vibrational energy here three of swords and the devil but i feel like after a separation or breakup this person became very obsessed with you and i know some of you are going to be like i don't want that person for a lot of you this is not someone who has been awful it could have just been a casual relationship and like the car said it wasn't time for you and this person to be in a committed relationship so you know you can focus on the negative and allow a lot of negativity to manifest in your life. If you don't want this person, if you or whatever, don't don't worry about it. But even if it's someone brand new that you don't have any history with, if they're becoming comfortable with you, allow it. That's all I'm saying. 